Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. Now I know I'm a little behind uh, with everything going on right now, of course, in the world. Uh, I have been swamped and have not been able to get any videos out there lately, but I'm trying to get something put together. Uh, this video is one I had in my March status update video. This is the Zimmy Smart Smart LED Light Panels. They come in different... Uh, options if you buy them on Zimmy Smart's website. Uh, I think they come in nine panel sets, three panel sets, six panel sets, or you can buy individual panels by themselves I think as well. So depending on how much you want to spend, I think a nine panel set is $140. The nice folks over at Zimmy Smart sent me a three panel set to play around with. Not a whole lot I can do with that as far as a, a design and stuff, but at least we'll get some functionality and play around with them for a little bit, see how they work. Let's check it out. Of course, if you don't want to get them straight from Zimmy Smart, you can buy them on Amazon as well. They're roughly the same amount. Uh, I think there's only a couple of options on uh, Amazon's website. So it looks like a nine-piece set for about $150, $160, and a three-piece set uh, for just under $100. And I'm sure there's other places you can pick them as well, but that's the two places that I looked at. And one thing I noticed right off the bat is these are not uh, Wi-Fi enabled. I don't know why I thought that they were, but they're only uh, Bluetooth uh, capable. It's not really a, a deal breaker or anything, but as far as being able to control them within Home Assistant, uh, I had to come up with some kind of other option uh, because I couldn't directly necessarily control them uh, within Home Assistant with them just being Bluetooth enabled. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. Of course, for starters, we're basically going to unbox the device. Uh, once we do that, then I'll, in a roundabout way, show you how I added it to my wall and how I got that set up. Once that's done, then uh, I'm going to get it added in Home Assistant, at least in a special way, just to kind of show you that you can at least control it somewhat from Home Assistant. And lastly, I'll show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so as you can see here, I uh, kind of already had the box opened, uh, so I didn't get the full unboxing like I normally do when I uh, pull in these items from uh, Zimmy Smart. But this will kind of give you the idea of what it looks like. It came in a box here, smart light panels. Like I said, I only got a three panel set, so there's three panels there. Has the little adapters to connect each light panel together. Um, a Bluetooth controller with a microphone built into it. Uh, some stickers to stick it to the wall. And then of course the power source. So as you can see here, there's some design options on the back. And in order to do any of these, of course, you're going to have to have quite a, a large amount of panels uh, to build out any reasonable design. So obviously a three panel pack is not going to be able to create much. But again, it's worth uh, testing them out. You at least will get some kind of idea of what they're going to look like and what they, uh, what they can do. All right, so as I said before, um, because the, uh, the LED light panels are Bluetooth only, there's not an easy way to control those uh, from within Home Assistant. So what I decided to do was use a, uh, a smart plug that I have running uh, Tesmoda on it, that it uh, will allow me to control that plug itself from within Home Assistant, and at least give me the ability to turn the LED light panels on and off remotely uh, from Home Assistant. 
they will hold on to their uh, last known setting that was uh, set up originally uh, with the app. So uh, once you kind of get it set to the setting that you want, you're probably going to leave it that way most of the time. So this will give you the ability to just turn it on and off uh, and it will stay on that setting. You can always uh, connect it to the uh, app again and change the settings to whatever you want uh, once you have it on and everything. All right, so again, there's not a whole lot you can do with three panels. Uh, so as you can see here, I've basically got three of them uh, stuck to the wall using that double stick uh, tape that was provided in the box. Cord runs down and of course plugs into the, uh, the uh, Wi-Fi smart plug with test mode on it. Alright, so getting it set up in Home Assistant is basically just adding this uh, smart plug into uh, the Home Assistant using the MQTT of course and because we can uh, set it up for auto discovery now with the MQTT integration it makes it super simple. We basically go in and make sure all of our MQTT parameters are set correctly, whatever we want to call it. And then we'll do set option 19 and that will uh, enable auto discovery and we'll be able to uh, automatically pretty much see that in Home Assistant as soon as we jump over here. So we'll click on the integrations tab, we're going to go in uh, to the MQTT integration and as you can see down here, office LED panels, there it is. We can add that into our web front end and everything and we'll be good to go. Alright, let's kind of see what this looks like in action. So as you can see here, I got the LED panels. They're currently turned on, uh, set to green. That's just what I set to uh, by default. We can uh, play around with the different settings here. We'll set them to red, and as you can see, they immediately turn to red. We'll set them to, to yellow and to pink. That doesn't show up very well on the camera, but they are changing. Uh, we'll go ahead and do some of the auto uh, changing on that and set it to one of these settings here. It's flashing blue. And as you can see, if we turn it off, it immediately goes off from within Home Assistant. Turn it back on. And you can see it saved that last setting where it was flashing the blue. And of course, at that point, we would have to go in and reconnect the app because it actually lost connection whenever we turned it off. Go back over here. Uh, point it back to the LED light panels and then of course then we have control again to do whatever else we want to do. That's pretty much it guys. Um, not a whole lot I can do other than that. Uh, like I said I don't have a big use for these uh, LED panels but uh, I know a lot of people like them. They're actually pretty cool as so far as being able to sync them with music. Uh, so if you uh, want to put it in like a game room or a playroom where you uh, listen to a lot of music and you want the light to bounce around to that music these will certainly do that again uh, the only option I can really think of as far as being able to control them within home assistant is using this uh, smart uh, Wi-Fi uh, plug like I said running Tasmoda made it easy to do so if you're looking for something like this, definitely check out Zemi Smart. Uh, compared to some of the other options out there, I definitely think they're uh, worth the uh, the price. And it feels like the quality is pretty good as well. Let's do a quick run through everything we covered in this video. So of course we started out by unboxing the device. Once we did that, we uh, added them to our wall. Once we got those added, I showed you how to set that up in Home Assistant with our MQTT Wi-Fi Smart Plug. And then lastly, I just kind of showed you what that looked like in action. Again, that's the end of the video, guys. Things are starting to kind of slow down a little bit as far as my uh, actual work. So I will be able to, uh, to do a little bit more video, hopefully turn them out a little bit quicker, especially now since I'm kind of stuck at home, uh, you know, for the foreseeable future. We'll see how that goes. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. 
As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks!